Hey guys, uh, just showing you my latest uh, design and print here. I uh, decided rather than just downloading files off of uh, Thingiverse, which generally speaking you can't edit, um, I decided to make my own here. So uh, I spent a little bit of time uh, learning AutoCAD, um, so I've, I've kind of got the basics down now. This is for my FPV cams. Um, I have this nasty habit, in I've had this nasty habit in the past of just, you know, taping them or gluing them or you know whatever to uh, my planes and uh, multi-rotors and then eventually um, by accident or whatever I usually end up accidentally removing a component with the tape or the glue when I take it off so I've ruined quite a few cams so this one here um, this is actually my first attempt here at uh, doing this I've already tested it but uh, basically my idea here is that um, these little pillars here are, are slightly recessed in so that uh, the board is somewhat flush with the edge. So pop that in. I wanted a nice snug fit. I did not want the camera rattling. So pop her in. And that is a snug fit. It, it's not loose at all. Okay, so that actually worked out really well. Camera pops out the front. Good. And then my back plate, I actually did it so it's usable for two different uh, cameras. Um, a PZO here, and I also uh, tend to use uh, the cheap $17 Hobby King cams. So um, the only it's got a few connectors, but you actually just need the video one here, and this is actually for the breakout board. So I, I want that one handy. Now, right now, so so it'll all come together just fine. I don't have any snaps designed yet. I tried a rudimentary one, didn't really work so well. So uh, so for now, I do have the holes in here, uh, and they do line up with the uh, camera board holes. So for now, I'll probably just end up putting a little, um, some hard, uh, uh, sorry, stiff wire through, wrap it around, and just have it sealed it permanently on all the four corners, or possibly a dab of glue or something. Uh, keep in mind, once the camera is actually sealed like this, and I have access to any ports I need, I don't actually have to uh, open this up anymore. Okay, so uh, so this actually works out really well. Uh, I've already thought of another way to improve this. Uh, I'm going to actually re uh, build up this wall a little bit more and force these columns to uh, actually I won't force them to stick out I'll actually recess this wall down so that the columns stick out so that when this goes together um, these corners will stick out and snap in here to the corners so it can't move around still not perfect but you know it'll still work really well so that works really well for the PZO, for the uh, Hobby King cam. Same thing, perfect fit. And of course, uh, I made the one hole on the bottom larger so that you know you can access it just fine. So that's basically it. This will actually protect my camera nicely, and I'll actually be able to tape, glue, or whatever this to the plane, multi rotor, whatever. Uh, in another future version, uh, or revision rather, I'll uh, print some loops in here, ex uh, little flat pieces, exterior loops, so that um, uh, I'm going to have exterior anchors on this to, uh, to attach in various different ways. Um, also, uh, in a future revision, I'll also uh, make this uh, adjustable for, uh, or attachable to a pan tilt. So, uh, at the very least, uh, yeah, we'll see. There you go. That's my uh, first actual useful design in AutoCAD. Probably took me about an hour just because I, after my lessons I had to go back and remember some of the commands. But uh, this took me an hour to actually fire up and first shot off the printer. Uh, it actually fits absolutely perfectly.